Hey everyone, this is Scott from Forgot to Grow Up. Welcome to our The Mandalorian Chapter 3 Thoughts video. I just finished watching the latest episode of The Mandalorian on Disney Plus, and I'm just going to be sharing my general thoughts. I will be getting into spoilers for this episode, so if you haven't seen it, you want to tune out now. Um, but yeah, so I just finished watching the latest episode, and this one we continue on with seeing Mando and what's up with him and what's going to happen with the baby Yoda which is what I'm going to refer to it until we learn an actual name for this species. Um, so yeah, the, we, we see what he ends up doing, which he does at first turn the baby over and for the bounty. And that was a little disappointing because I was hoping, I was hoping he'd be just good right away. But luckily, luckily again, spoilers, he does turn before the end and decide to go rescue the baby. And so I, I like this. I really enjoyed this episode for us getting this kind of turn. We see the conflict in him and the fact that he's going against these rules, just even asking about what's going to happen with the baby. But at the same time, he doesn't want to get paid so that he can get the shiny armor. Um, but, you know, I like that he, in, in the end, decides to, you know, give into his kind of, I don't want to say soft side, but give into his ethical side more so even, uh, and go rescue the baby that's 50 years old. Um, so I really enjoyed this episode for just the aspect of the, like just this kind of mini character arc in this one, us seeing that, you know, he's had this reputation up to now, but it took a, a little ba cute little baby to, you know, make him decide to break his code. And so I really like that. I like that we see a little bit more going on with the Mandalorians in this episode, learning a little, seeing a little bit more how that society kind of works or how does the kind of under their underground, it seems like they say at one point they only come up one at a time, which by the end of this episode changes, which was awesome. That was my favorite part about this episode was definitely just them all coming to rescue this and save the day again sorry if you haven't seen the episode but i warned you about all these spoilers um but yeah so i really enjoyed that we a got into a little bit more seeing that they don't always necessarily completely agree but they all have a certain code that they follow and i like at the end that they come you know to the assistance of mando even though they don't necessarily agree with him you know on certain things they do you know th they stand with their you know fellow brother in arms so i really enjoy that they all come we get to see them all some of them's got booster packs he says he's got to get one it was just great it was just awesome i really enjoyed it. i liked i liked just seeing that whole scene seeing all the bounty hunters come for him because he took he got he rescued the baby and him having to fight them all off and doing his best and then having to get rescued so and i the fact that they did a good job of just in such a short episode making me kind of forget forget in a sense while i was watching the episode that you know the other mandalorians could come help and save him but i didn't even think of that while i was watching i'm like how's he gonna get out of this what's he gonna do and then they come and i was like ah. so i thought they did a really great job of just creating the emotions that they want i imagine in their audience from these things so i really enjoyed that they're just fun things to me this is this is the type of stuff i wanted to get from this show and they just really delivered in it so i really enjoyed that um i liked seeing that actually seeing his this whole episode was great seeing him rescue the baby was great and kill some stormtrooper the stormtrooper guard or the guards that were wearing stormtrooper um armor so that was just fun seeing the different ways seeing his new little uh heat seeker things i forget what the names of them were um something some kind of bird thing um but that was a it was a cool little thing and just a cool scene to see him you know utilizing his different um weapons and skills to take out all these guards and rescue the baby which i'm again really happy he did and i'm really happy that now he's on the run from all the other bounty hunters it seems that he has to kind of figure out what to do with the you know with this little baby and i'm really curious what he is going to do so i wonder whose advice he's going to go get um so this will be interesting that going forward just checking out my notes to see what else i had written that i hadn't already covered uh this is the way oh that was just a, a line they kept using it seems like it's their just kind of motto uh for the mandalorians uh way of thing he's definitely not um part of the uh, bounty hunters guild it doesn't seem anymore after breaking their rules um and that they're all tracking him down uh oh and the other little bit we got in this was that we it seems that um mando's parents might have been killed during the clone wars because we see a um oh why am i forgetting the type of freaking a Troid Federation bot, one of those bots, one of those super bots, or the super bot. I can't remember the names of these things. I'm so bad with these names sometimes. Um, but yeah, we did see a little hinting as to that his parents probably died during the Clone Wars, which kind of adds up a little timeline wise, I guess. It depends on how old Mando's supposed to be, but he's got that helmet on, so we can't really tell. And, um, <laughs> but, anyways, uh, so that was a fun little 
to kind of tie to see that um that droid from the little throwback into that so i just really enjoy that we're getting a little little bits to see what kind of you know of his background a little bit um but yeah that's pretty much all my thoughts on this episode i really really like this episode for like i said all the different things i've listed throughout this video but i really really enjoyed it i'm really excited to see more of the rest of this season i'm really excited that during the second season i just i'm loving it so far but what did you guys think of this latest episode of the mandalorian be sure to let me know in the comments below thanks again for joining me today subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and have a good one